I remember Sydney asking me, was I interested in meeting one of her friends? And I thought about it like, yeah, of course, why not? I thought she was just like the typical girl, you know, really long, pretty hair, pretty eyes. And I thought, you know, I guess I'll see where this goes. You and I, I got this feeling rising. I asked if she had a friend that I could um, meet who was single. And she said, yeah, I work with somebody who is single. And the first time we were supposed to meet, I decided to go home. <laughs> so the next time came around and she brought him over to play cards. And a couple hours later, I knew he was the one. <laughs> I never really thought I would find someone that I could actually spend the rest of my life with. I just pray that I could be the man that you've always dreamed about. He came back every day for a week with flowers, dinner, wine. I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. I'm excited to get married because you're my best friend and you make me happy, you make me laugh. Uh, every time we're together, we have a good time. I think our friends and our family see it too, that we were meant to be together. I think it's funny because everyone always told me that I shouldn't go looking for a guy. And they were right. You came to me and I think God's put us together for it. Friends, we have come here today at the invitation of Stephanie and Stephen to share in the joy of their wedding. This is an outward celebration that we shall see and hear is an expression of an inward love and devotion that they have in their hearts. At the beginning, the Creator made us male and female and said, For this cause, man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. God loves us and created us to love others. Our love finds completion only as we love and are loved in return. Together, we can become what we could never be separately. Marriage is of God. Marriage is a gift of God, given to comfort the sorrows of life and magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Your marriage must stand by the strength of your love and by the power of your faith in each other and in God. Ever since I was a little boy, I prayed that I would find a woman as remarkable, as beautiful as you. And I knew when the Lord would bring us together that I would know that you would be my wife. You're heaven sent. I vow to you to always treat you that way. I give my life to you. Through wealth and poverty, I shall be there. So we're old and gray, and to my final days, I'll be there for you. I love you. I say, Stephen, welcome to our family. We accept you and love your open arms. And I hope through this, you will see God's unending favor and love towards your life. When I met you, I fell in love. I was amazed by your kindness and your way of making me feel like I was the only girl in the world. I take you, Stephen, to be my best friend, the heart of our family, the father of our future children, and most importantly, my husband. I vow from this day forward, you will not walk alone, and I promise to travel wherever life may take you. Stephen, you may kiss your bride.
You once told me you didn't think you could have this kind of unconditional love, and I'm so happy that you found it with Steven. Some people know that Stephanie was supposed to be named Steven if she was a boy. I think that God still knew we needed a Steven in the family. And I'm so happy, and I couldn't have chosen a better Steven than my little sister. I didn't think we would make it this far, because the first time I met Stephanie was Thanksgiving 2013 and you guys had broke up in the car when we were trying to um, get in the lounge. We were all wondering where Steven and Stephanie were and we were, they just broke up in the car. Shake your body like a Polaroid picture. Don't be afraid to move that figure. Dance all around like you own the world. Hands up high while you twist and twirl now. Grab my hand, grab my hand. Take it like Dallas to a wonderland. Spin you all around like a ceiling fan. This is fun. Yeah. We're gonna count down together, y'all.